Baldwin County couple has a hungry visitor that decided to camp out in its backyard. I'm talking about a brown pelican that showed up on Friday and decided to stay. It'll walk up to anybody in an effort to get some food. Fox 10 News reporter Matt Berentine has the story. Angry, but Since Friday, Natasha and Norman Reed have had to share their backyard in Hammond Creek in Alberta. The large brown pelican was looking for food and possibly not strong enough to find it on its own, but is certainly not shy about asking for a handout. Comes right at you with this beak wide open looking for food. So that's why we have to take defensive measures to stay out of his way. <laughs> in fact, the pelican now follows them around whenever they're in the backyard and is even bold enough to walk right into the house. He has been, been as far as the screen room and he would have come in the back door, but we decided to shut the door before he had a chance to get in. This behavior is unusual for a wild pelican, but lately there have been many reports in our area of aggressive hungry birds. Biologists at the Environmental Studies Center in Mobile say they're housing 10 pelicans right now. In fact, they have so many that they're asking for fish donations. That's more pelicans than they've ever cared for. A state biologist we contacted say it's likely many of the troubled pelicans are youngsters and are finding it hard to make it on their own. The Reed's pelican is one such juvenile and likely learned to beg hanging around docks and piers. They hope the fish they feed the bird will give it strength to move on. We we're hoping that, uh, that he won't starve to death. In Alberta, Matt Berentine, Fox 10 News. Biologists say there was a large number of nesting uh, pairs of pelicans on Gay Gayard Island in Mobile uh, Bay last summer. More than 5,000, up to two-thirds of the young birds, were told, never survive.